Hey everyone, welcome to another deep dive. Today we're looking into Dalefit. It's an AI stock analytics platform, and we're going to see what it can really do. All the info for this episode comes from buystocks.ai, which is run by Enda, and we'll be talking about a special discount on Dalefin later on, so stick around for that. Dalefin was named Best Financial Research Company at the 2023 Benzinga Global Fintech Awards. That's a pretty big deal, so let's find out why it won and if it's the right platform for you. Yeah, it's interesting. They try to give everyday investors the same tools as the big guys on Wall Street. So it uses AI to look at stocks and ETFs. And it gives you insights and predictions to make better investment decisions. And what's cool is it doesn't just throw numbers at you. It uses explainable AI to actually show you why the AI makes its predictions. That's really important for building trust, especially if you're new to using AI for investing. Okay, that makes sense. So who are the people behind Danilfin? It was founded by three people. Tomas Giago, he's the CEO, and he also started the company Softonic. And then there's Aaron Roman Gonzalez. He's the chief data scientist. And Guillermo Salas Fernandez, the CTO. Together, they've got experience in tech AI and finance. They're a pretty innovative team. Yeah, it's interesting how a lot of successful companies are started because someone was frustrated. Yeah. I read that Diago had the idea for Daniel Davel because he felt overwhelmed by all the data in the market. Yeah. He wanted to make things simpler, both for himself and for other investors. Yeah, it's like turning a problem into an opportunity, and it seems to be working for him. They've gotten $2.38 million in funding, including a Series A round led by Nada Capital. That's a really good sign investors must believe in them. And I hear they're growing pretty fast too, right? Definitely. They started in 2018 and launched their website, danielfin.com, in 2021. And then last year, they expanded to cover all U.S. stocks and ETFs plus the STOX EX Europe 600 index. They're ambitious. They've got money and they're growing. That's all great. But what does Daniel Fit actually do? What are the features that make it different? The main thing is their AI score. It's a rating from 1 to 10 that predicts how likely a stock or ETF is to do better than the market. But remember, it's not just about the score, it's about understanding it. Because of the explainable AI, you can actually see why they gave it that score. Exactly. It's broken down into subscores for technical analysis, fundamentals, market sentiment. Oh, and something they call low risk factors. So you can understand the AI's logic and maybe adjust your strategy because of it. That's pretty cool, like peeking behind the curtain. I bet some people want more specific trading ideas, not just scores. Does Danilfin have something like that? Yeah, for sure. They have trade ideas, which shows you stocks and ETFs with a good track record. These ideas come with buy or sell signals. And each signal has at least a 60% historical win rate for long trades or loss rate for short trades based on their analysis. So it's not a guaranteed win, but it uses data to give you an advantage. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're more of a long-term investor. Does Danilfin have any tools for managing your whole portfolio? Yeah, definitely. You can create and manage several portfolios on the platform, which is really helpful for trying different strategies or tracking different goals. Of course, you can track their performance, but you also get alerts if the AI score changes for any of your assets. Oh, that's really useful. You can stay on top of everything. And I guess that would help with rebalancing your portfolio, especially if some stocks aren't doing well anymore. Exactly. And they even have a portfolio diversity score, so you can see if you're too focused on one sector. Okay, this is sounding pretty impressive. But does it actually work? Does Danilfin's AI actually give good results? Their past performance data looks pretty good. Their analysis shows that stocks with a 10 AI score did better than the S&P 500. They got an average of 14.69% annualized alpha over three months. And their best stock strategy, which uses their AI predictions, got a 23% return from 2017 to 2024. The S&P 500 only got 189% in the same period. Wow, those are some big numbers. But I know you're going to say that past performance doesn't guarantee future results. You know me so well. Of course, the market changes all the time. So you can't be sure you'll get the same results in the future. But it does show how powerful Danilfin's approach can be. Okay, so we've talked about what Danilfin is, who made it, how it's grown, and even how well it's done. Now let's talk about how you would actually use it for your everyday investing. Okay, so let's say you're looking for new investment ideas. You would start by going to Danilfin's trade ideas section. And you can filter by time horizon, risk tolerance, or even specific investment themes you're interested in. Oh, okay. If I'm a cautious investor and I want long-term growth, I could look for stocks with high AI scores along time horizon and maybe themes like sustainable investing or dividend growth. Exactly. You can personalize your search and find the right opportunities for you. Once I've found some interesting trade ideas, What's next? Then you'd look closer at the AI scores. Remember, they go from 1 to 10, with 10 being the most likely to do well. 
You'd want to focus on scores between 7 and 10, and then check the subscores to see what's driving that prediction. Ah, so if I see a stock with an 8 AI score, I can then see that it's got high scores for fundamentals and sentiment. But maybe it's not so good on technicals that would give me a more complete understanding of what the AI is thinking. Exactly. It's about using the AI's insights along with your own judgment and research. Okay, so let's say I've done my research and I'm ready to start building a portfolio. How does Danilfin help with that? Like we said before, you can create and manage multiple portfolios on the platform. You can add the stocks you've researched, track how they're doing, and even set up alerts if the AI score changes for any of them. That's great for staying informed and making changes when you need to. One thing I always worry about with investing is making sure I'm not taking on too much risk. Does Danilfin have any advice for that? For sure, remember the portfolio diversity score. That's really important for managing risk. It shows you if your portfolio is too focused on one sector. Okay, so for example, let's say I'm really excited about artificial intelligence. So mm -hmm. I put all my money into AI stocks. That might sound good, but... Mm -hmm. But then you're putting all your eggs in one basket. If that sector goes down, your whole portfolio will suffer. Danilfin's diversity score would warn you about that so you could diversify into other sectors and be safer. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. It's like having a safety net to help you avoid making mistakes. But while this all sounds amazing, I'm sure some people are wondering how much it costs. The good news is Danilfin has different plans for different budgets. They have a free plan, which is great for getting to know the platform and how it works. That's perfect for people who want to try it before they commit. Mm -hmm. What are the limits on the free plan, though? With the free plan, you can see the top 10 stock and ETF rankings, get a few reports, and create one portfolio with up to five assets. It's good for starting out, but if you really want to use Danilfin for investing, you'll probably want to upgrade. Okay, so what are the paid options? Their plus plan is pretty popular. It's $25 per month or $228 for the whole year. And with that, you get unlimited reports and rankings. You can track up to five portfolios with 30 assets each and you get access to their top 25 trade ideas. That sounds like a good deal, especially if you're actively managing your portfolio. But I guess they have an even better option for people who are really serious about investing. Yeah, they have the pro plan, it's their top tier. It costs $70 per month or $624 per year, but you get everything. You get access to all the data going back to 2017. You can export scores and indicators to analyze them further. And you get unlimited portfolios and trade ideas with lots of detail. Wow. So if you're a serious investor or you manage big portfolios, the pro plan might be worth it. Yeah, it really depends on what you need and how deep you want to go into the data. Okay, so we've talked about the features, how to use Danilfin and the pricing. Now let's step back and look at the bigger picture. What are the real benefits of using a platform like this? What makes it better than other investing tools out there? I think one of the biggest advantages is that it gives regular investors access to powerful AI tools, the kind of tools that only big institutions used to have. It levels the playing field so everyone can use this technology to make better decisions. I love that it's like having a team of expert analysts working for you. Yeah. But besides just access, what else makes Danielson special? I think it's their commitment to being transparent. The explainable AI is a game changer. You don't have to blindly trust an algorithm. You can actually understand how it makes its predictions. That builds trust and helps you make smarter decisions. Yeah, I bet that transparency is especially helpful for new investors who are still learning. Absolutely. It makes the whole process less mysterious and shows them how different factors affect the AI's assessment. Okay, so we've established that Danielson is powerful, transparent, and easy to use. But let's be realistic. Nothing's perfect. Are there any limitations or drawbacks that people should know about? One thing is their market coverage, they mostly focus on the U.S. and Europe. If you're looking to invest in other parts of the world... Danilfin might not be the best choice. That's a good point. If you want to invest in emerging markets, they might not have the data you need. And even though they've made the platform pretty user-friendly, there's still a bit of a learning curve. It takes some time to understand all the features and use them effectively. But might not be right for someone who just wants to set it and forget it. it Danilfin is a powerful tool, but you have to be willing to learn how to use it. So taking all of that into account, who do you think would benefit the most from using Danilfin? Who's their ideal user? I think it's great for all sorts of investors, from beginners to experienced traders, even financial professionals. Let's break that down. What would a new investor get out of Danilfin? For beginners, it can be a really valuable learning tool. It makes researching stocks easier, helps them understand different strategies, and it gives them confidence because they have data to back up their decisions. And what about more experienced investors? How could they use Danilfin 
to improve their strategies. Experienced investors can use it to see if their assumptions are correct to find opportunities they might have missed, and to save time by automating things like tracking your portfolio and analyzing data. So it can make them more efficient and maybe even give them an edge in the market. And what about financial professionals? How could they use Danilfin? Financial advisors and portfolio managers could use it to give their clients better advice. They can make more data-driven recommendations and offer personalized strategies based on each client's goals and risk tolerance. So it's a very flexible tool that can be used in many different ways. Exactly. And at the end of the day, I think the ideal Danilfin user is someone who's curious about data, someone who wants to make informed investment decisions. This has been a really informative deep dive. But before we move on, let's remind our listeners about that special discount you mentioned earlier. Oh, if you want to try out Daniel Defin, we have a special offer for you. You can get 30% off your first year by using the code ENE at checkout. That's a fantastic deal. And you can find all the details in the episode description. So what are you waiting for? Give Daniel Finn a try and see what AI can do for your investments. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.